So what is up Pyros, today I'll be making granulated black powder that will be used for lifting the 4 inch shell in my future projects, so why not bring you into this process? There are the tools, I have strainer, it gives nice granulation and it's also steel one, so it cuts the composition pretty nice. That's black powder with some dextrin, 4%, coarse ball for mixing, two plastic sheets. It's currently not that hot outside, but this will definitely dry in a few days, that's not gonna be a problem. I have gloves on both hands, I also have my mask on my nose and mouth. Alright, first off, I just need to pour the composition in the bowl without having too much dust flying all over the place. Yeah, I should be doing this outside, but it's much easier to film inside. I have a mask and I will ventilate this room later. So what I like to do is do this. Close that and move this out of the way. So I like to keep one hand clean so I firstly move around with one hand and then when I need both hands I just do it with both. 75% water and 25% alcohol, rubbing alcohol. This is the trickiest part because you don't want to overwet the composition. It's almost good consistency, but I want to wet the charcoal a bit more so the oxidizer and sulfur can get into the charcoal nicely and get fast burning black powder. What I want to mention is the video I uploaded for this one. It's like a little reminder on safety. It will be up here and I really want the community to check out that video. So yeah, definitely check that one. So a bit more moisture. That's pretty much the consistency I want to get when I start to press it against the mesh because if it's wet more than this it'll make those worms which I don't like because they are hard to get through the mesh and a lot of the composition stays on the mesh. Also a good practice is to while you're wetting it to pass it through the mesh few times which is a must if you want to get fast granulated black powder they will also dry it a bit more and then you'll see if it's actually ready to to granulate or you need a bit more moisture all right there is the plate or the sheet here goes the composition you do not want to put all of it at once because it's much easier to work with like this. I can already see some granules forming nicely. So that means I've done nice wetting brush. See? Maybe a bit more moisture. I can also do this here and then just press when there is smaller amount of the composition. So also a good tip is you need to make sure that you put final desired amount of moisture in the composition and then do at least three turns on the mesh because that's what gets the granules to go and you'll get a nice lift. So a bit more moisture, but be careful when you're putting the last bit of moisture. That's when it gets you to fail. See how small amount of water I've put in? And it's already making that muddy consistency. We don't want that. Just mix it around, tumble it, and should be good. All right, three turns on the mesh coming in. What should you also take in consideration while you're doing these sessions on the mesh the composition actually gets even more dry so when the composition is pressed like this and you rub it against the mesh it makes the granules but while I'm mixing it I do not compress it like this that's why I get a bit crumbler granules but it's very good for getting the oxidizer and actual composition into the charcoal so this is second session so this is the third session as you can see, 
since I didn't put all the alcohol, the water is still holding up. The composition is still remaining wet and holding into the chunks like this when you press it together. So when I press the granules, I'll be pressing the composition together like this and then rubbing it against this. So these are final bits of the composition. All right, there's the final batch. I hope this batch turns out nice. I know I did a great job mixing it through the mesh and making sure that charcoal is nicely soaked with the mixture. So now it's drying part and we'll see the results when it dries. All right, both batches are dry and now was we'll test. So that was not desired speed of black powder, especially not the granulated one. So probably the biggest reason my black powder is a bit slower is that I somehow put a bit more charcoal and also it could be the reason that I used mixed hardwood as for the charcoal actually. So now I'm going to add around 15 or 20 grams of oxidizer and probably five grams of sulfur since those two will most likely not slow down this composition even more so i'll put around 15 grams of oxidizer and five grams of sulfur now this will be going back in a ball mill and milling for at least 10 hours after it got ball milled, I repeated the whole process of granulation and in the meantime found out that my oxidizer or potassium nitrate was not pure and that was the biggest reason for slowdown in my composition but after second process of granulation I actually got decent results. This process really helped me understand that there are many factors that can affect the quality of black powder when making it. And this time it was the oxidizer in my case, but I actually managed to get decent results at the end. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Peace out and stay safe Pyros. Light fireworks.